Well, I'm delighted to say hello again, Tyreek Johnson. Um, before we find out what's happened to you since we last met, can we just uh, establish that this interview is being done because you have agreed to sign for Woking for next season, is that right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. I've been speaking to Dallas for a while now, and um, yeah, we've come to an agreement for next season. I'm really looking forward to signing up. Okay, brilliant. So, the last time you were uh, involved with Woking was a, a very unfortunate Saturday, I think it was a Saturday, away at Chorley, where you dislocated your shoulder. How did that actually happen? Um, it was a corner and, I, and I, went, I was on the edge of the box and a lad just came straight through the back of me and my shoulder just came straight out of place. Right. And uh, notwithstanding that, you had to make the journey all the way back, didn't you? Oh yeah, well, yeah we had to take the train journey back and um, I was looked after to be fair by um, the staff and that so it's alright but yeah it took a few months to recover from that. Yeah and of, of course unfortunately you were supposed to be with us for six months but that was in September so and that ended your loan spell didn't it? Yeah unfortunately it ended it early. Um, I was really enjoying my time here, really enjoying playing, playing my football and that's another reason why I wanted to come back. Right and I, I think it would be fair to say that you'd you'd really sort of established yourself in the team and, and so on and uh, we're really starting to show great promise. Oh uh, yeah, um, I feel like I was doing well, I was enjoying myself playing, playing every week and um, just enjoying like, the fans, the fans are great here, always feeling the support. So yeah, I, I probably enjoy my time here and hopefully it's going to be even better now. Right. So, following that, you, you weren't able to come back because uh, of your shoulder injury, but and, and that your next football action, apart from rehabbing and training at Southampton, was in America. How did that come about? Um, so, from Southampton, they had, they had a link with Hartford Athletic, and right. um, I was asked to go over there for the um, season, and I went over there, really enjoyed it, but because of coronavirus, the season was delayed and that, but I got a few games in and I enjoyed that, enjoyed playing there. Yeah, that's about it, really, in America. I think you played 15 games, according to something I've read. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, the season, um, they had to make the season shorter because of coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't too many games, but it was nice to get back out there. And this was in the USL Championship. Is that the right name? Yeah, yeah that's league? correct, yeah. So, is that the next one down from the MLS? Oh, uh, yeah, it's the second division in, in America. So right. Yeah. And where is Hartford? Um, Hartford Athletics in Connecticut. So, which on is on the east, east, coast, yeah. east coast, yeah, right. So the weather would have been a bit similar to over here. Uh, yeah, when I first got there, it was snowing a good bit, but yeah. by, by summer it was really nice. And you enjoyed playing there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. The fans were great there as well, and it was a good, good atmosphere, and it was just a real good change in experience. Yeah, yeah they, they had an average crowds of about 5,000, I think, that season. Yeah. So, decent atmosphere. Uh, what was the standard like? What would you compare it to in our pyramid? Um, I'd say it's um, League 2, League 1 kind of standard, but it's quite mixed because we did play against some teams that, like, less, like the MLS is second team, so they're yeah. quite young, some of them. Right. But when we come against like another first team, the, the level is good. Yeah, I think your first ever game was against New York Red Bulls seconds, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, from the, you came back from there, and then the next thing you were you went out on loan to Gillingham. Uh, yeah, yeah, I signed for Gillingham in January. Um, it didn't really go as well as I hoped it went. Uh, I didn't get too many games, but you know it's another experience in your career, just different, seeing yeah. different sides of the game. You initially went on loan, but it was very quickly converted to a permanent deal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, as you say, it would probably be reasonable to say you, you didn't appear to get many opportunities there. Uh, yeah, I didn't play as much as I thought I would, but um, I definitely learned a lot in my time there, so it was, that's, that's a positive I took from the, my experience there. Yeah, you, you were, from what I'd seen uh, in recent weeks and months, you were mainly on the bench, so it's not as if you yeah. weren't in the squad at all, yeah, yeah. but you just weren't getting as much playing time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So uh, you you were you're on the list on Gillingham's website as being released um, and your contracts run out. So that's what it actually says. Um, so you were available to speak to other clubs and 
Did Dallas get in touch with you, or was it the other way around? Um, well, to be fair, since I've done my shoulder, I think I've been in touch with Dallas quite a lot, you know, right. talking and that. But uh, yeah, he, he gave me a ring and um, just said, just said what's going on at the club and like the aims for the club. And for me, that was I didn't really have to think too much about signing here. Great. And uh, what, what has he told you that he expects of you? What does he, does he see you playing in exactly the same role as last time or anything different? Um, well, he said he, uh, he sees me as a winger, getting at players like what I did last time. And also an option as a striker as well, as well as that, a wing back. I can play a wing back as well if we go into a five. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of like, his expectations of me. Yeah, good. And uh, obviously, if Gillingham signed you, you must be completely fully fit now. Yeah, yeah, I'm 100% fit. Right. Really. And I suppose a, a shoulder injury, while it inconveniences you and is very painful, it's, it's not as bad as doing your knee, is it? Yeah, for sure. And I feel like it's given me a lot of time to get stronger as well and work on other bits of my body to make myself the best I can be now. Right. Last question then, are you going to give yourself a goal target for the season, even if you don't tell anyone what it is? Yeah, I've, I've already started thinking about my goal target, but you know, I don't have to discuss these, no, these no, ones no. on camera. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I get that. But there, there will be one in your head? Yeah, 100%. Right, well, will you promise to tell us when you reach it? Yeah. Even though you're not going to tell us what it is yeah. in, beforehand? Yeah, 100%. Okay, brilliant. It's great to see you back, and we look forward to next season and seeing you tearing up the wing again. Thank you very much.